Huh, <laughs> shit. Okay. What a do, gang. It's your girl, Ghost Tay, back again with another Body by Tay video. But before we get into it, you already know what to do. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell icon so you don't miss another video. And hopefully, y'all did not hear that not notification just pop up on my laptop. LOL. Anyway, um, so basically, today I'm going to be walking you guys through an unplanned day at the gym with me. Um, it's a pretty basic, you know, situation, but um, I think even on unplanned days you could get a lot of things done and i think it's important to go even when you don't have anything planned because you can work something out as you go along which is basically what i did in the video so let's get into it So the first thing you want to start with on an unplanned day is to always have a basic workout that you can do in between the unplanned workouts so you know for sure you're getting that, you know, umph that you need in that area that you're focusing on on that day. So for me, this is my basic workout. This is my go-to in-between workout for any exercise when I don't have anything planned or just in general when I want to make sure I'm feeling the burn in my lower body. Um, so... I don't really know what these are called, but I call them elevated, um, wow, deadlifts and elevated, uh, heel elevated and toe elevated squats. So I do them for my heel and I do them with my, um, toes, but I do that separately. And I do about 10 to 20, um, reps each set. So yeah. And this one is a new one that I did that day. So we'll talk about that in a little second. So on this day, I try to focus on my gluteus maximus, minimus, and medius. I believe that's how you say it. I hope I'm saying it right. Ugh. Anyway, um, <laughs> I try to do as many exercises and I incorporated my thigh bands um, with that so that I can get all of the muscles in my butthole. Whoa. Butt cheeks. Why did I say butthole? I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but no, yeah, so... This is a squat with a leg lift to the side. I also did one to the back, I believe, which you guys will see later. Um, and the yellow ladder that you see on the floor is an agility ladder. I just bought it to the gym with me that day and was like, you know what? Let's see um, what I can do with this. I had never did any agility exercises intentionally, I guess, before. Not that I know of. So I thought it was a good thing to try out. And it works for the gluteus. So I was like, why the fuck not? So this one is the toe elevated deadlift. You may notice that my form is a bit off. Um, so with me, I always get confused in the middle of doing deadlifts and in the middle of doing squats. I always mistake a deadlift for a squat and I'll start squatting and then like realize halfway through my set that I'm supposed to be doing deadlifts. And it's the other way around for um, squats too. I'll be like, oh my God, why, why am I doing this? Um, but yeah, so the elevation helps with the... Um, I think it's the hamstrings that's back there. I know I'm such a terrible teacher. I'm still learning. So, you know, that's why I'm not taking any clients right now. So don't, 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 don't judge me, okay? We're learning together. This is us learning together. That's the whole purpose of this series. But um, yes, this exercise with the elevated toe definitely tightens. Like you feel that tightness up right behind the hamstrings. Is that what it is? It's. It, I forgot what I called it a second ago. I'm literally like bug it out but um yes that the muscles right under your butt and the thigh behind your thigh you will feel it there it's an amazing feeling i promise you definitely try it out it's a great in between um workout it's super easy so i would definitely recommend it Love. 
LOL. So as y'all just saw, yeah, I've never used an agility ladder before. I've never moved while trying to work out. Um, I think it's called plyometrics. Uh, I'm just a terrible teacher. We will we will learn this together. It's okay. But um, yeah, so I decided to do um, rotating uh, lunges, jumping rotating lunges, and um, moving to the side. That was the hardest thing. These were the hardest exercises I've ever done in my life. So whenever I'm learning a new type of exercise or a new exercise period, I always in between the new exercises do something that I'm used to, which would be just these side steps with a um, thigh band around my ankles. So it's just to make sure I do that to make sure that I am getting the burn, even if I'm not feeling it from the new exercise, because, you know, you may not be doing it right. And it takes a while sometimes to learn these certain exercises. So for this one, I'm really bad at lunges. And I just wanted to make sure I was getting my full workouts worth. So, yeah. So, I don't know the full details of the heel elevated exercises, the squats and the deadlifts. But what I do know is that when I do elevate my heels, I'm able to get lower in my squat. So, it feels like I have um, a better burn and the lower gluteus and the gluteus minimus so um yeah i would definitely recommend if you feel like you don't get low enough in your squats um great compensation for it uh i use a five pound uh weight to put under my feet so it's not too much you know difference just a tip So um, these are, I believe, called skater jumps. And as you can see, I was just trying them out. <laughs> I don't, the wind just dropped the water bottle. I was trying them out. I was just trying to learn and um, make sure I was doing it right. Make sure I was filling it in the right places. It's definitely hard. I would definitely recommend taking your time. It's just sped up so it looks like I'm going faster. Um, but you see, I messed up and I was like getting really irritated. Um, yeah, I don't really know about this one yet. I don't know about this one yet. I'm still learning about it. I haven't really felt anything. And that's why I added the thigh band because I was like, eh, I don't really feel that. So it did feel a lot much better when I added the thigh band. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.